Hello everyone. So this is what we are going to work on today. If I go to the inventory and here, now this weapon is the one that I have currently equipped. If I hover over another weapon, let me click so this doesn't go away. So here you can see the stun is uh, 10, speed is 10 and you can see a little green and here you can see a little red. So this red represents the decrease in this particular stat of this weapon compared to the one that I have already equipped. So that means this weapon. So here you can see a stun is 20 and here a stun is 10. So you see a decrease of 10 in red and here it was speed was 8 for this weapon but here it's 10 so you see a little bit of green to show that increase of two speed points so this is what we are going to work on today so we have already created the widget we're just going to uh, get the current weapon and figure out how to get its uh, stat values and how to show the comparison in this window so this is what we are going to work on today so here if i equip this weapon you can see now here you don't see any comparison that's because this is the equipped weapon and this is the weapon that I'm currently hovering as well. So if I click on here, now you see the difference. So yeah, if I now go to the level, you, we have the weapon equipped by the character. So, okay, so that's what we are going to work on today. And before we get started, let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects I have done in my channel from the patron page uh, once you become a member you will be able to access everything without any limits and in this playlist you can access all the tutorials i have done in this series everything is implemented from scratch and everything is shared here so feel free to check it out i'll leave the link to the full playlist in the description below all right now let's get back to today's episode All right, so right now, if I pick up some weapons and go here, so you see, this is the currently equipped weapon, but this is, and this is the stats for the great sword, but you don't see a comparison between the currently equipped weapon and the difference of this attack or speed or stun for this newly selected weapon here so you can't decide whether it is a good idea to pick up equip this weapon or not so that's what i want to work on all right so let's go to ui and attend weapons and here i'll open this weapon detail panel blueprint as well so here I have this stat bars and I create those stat bars. Yeah, here, initialize the stats function. So here we already have this on the stats bars, this old stat value uh, parameter when we initialize it. So if I open it, go here, you can see we already have created a high bar and a low bar this is to show the difference so this is already created i have already shared the tutorial for this previously so we just we just have to now figure out how to get the old stat value uh, to show the comparison so for that here when i initialize data i only pass the item button i'll change this new item button and this item data new item data and i'll add another parameter in the same type inventory button type wdg inventory button Current 
or we should say equip item button and then here let's get the parameter equipped item button let's convert it to a validated get and then we can get item data from this and let's promote no no need to promote we already created the or did we? Yeah. Let's promote this to a parameter a variable. Equipped item data. Item data of the item in the same category as this new new item button represents. If it is not valid, we can just skip this part like that like this okay now when I initialize stats I can get equipped item data just like I do here I can break it duplicate this whole thing and connect to this get virus and then here from the values I retrieve the relevant value so using the same index okay like this so it goes to the old stat value all right now that's all we need to do in the item details panel so how but we need to pass this this equipped item button to this function from here uh, we already have this selected item inventory button so we can use that when i show item details here initialize data simply pass this all right now let's see now when I hover over this I don't see any comparison because this is the same as the equipped button and here now you see this one is done is 20 this one is done is 10 so you see in red uh, the decrease in this steel sword what's s this is wrong maybe I have a typo let's see Oh, here yeah. actually it's supposed to be speed yeah okay so see now it's correct so speed this is 10 this is 8 so you see a slight increase so now you see the comparison if I click this so and equip now if I hover you see this uh, equip is uh, grayed out because we have already equipped the grade sword and you don't see any comparison data because it's the same item now here you see in the correct way all right great so that's all I want to do in this episode.
right so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download here in the patron page link would be in the description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comments see you in another episode goodbye